Shut up and sit down. Hey folks, this is Tony Day. Today uh, I'm going to be exploring Panasonic V log footage from the Panasonic S1. Uh, I think some of these might be from the S1H or, or whatever. Um, the links to all of this footage that has been available by many uh, kind individuals is available below. Uh, please watch those, uh, watch that content, read those articles, and uh, download that footage if you'd like, and you can follow along with me while I show you this, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to help somebody. Um, I don't know if they, are, if they want help or not, because I've tried to contact them and um, uh, help them with their footage, but they don't seem really willing to send me their particular footage. Um, but what they're complaining about is that reds turn orange with Panasonic V-Log footage. Now, I haven't seen any proof of that, uh, so I'm using any footage I have available for me to download uh, to basically uh, show uh, if there is a problem. Uh, we should be able to see it with any of the footage that I've downloaded, okay? What we're going to be looking at is uh, not only in the skin tones, but we're also going to be looking at magentas and reds to see how they are interpreted. Now, what I was told was that uh, you can see this problem if you pull up the saturation and the contrast, okay? The reason that this is not a proper way to begin your grade with Panasonic uh, V-Log footage is because unless you're an expert in transforming colors uh, from Panasonic V-Gamut, which is an acquisition uh, color space, into something like Rec. 709, which is a display color space, you're not going to see the colors correctly, okay? So um, this is not going to give you accurate colors right off the bat, okay? So if you're having trouble, that's the reason, okay? Uh, so we just did this for this one, okay? And uh, I'll uh, quickly just um, grab a white balance off of this apparently white box here. We're going to take this. I'm going to copy... We'll name this actually white balance and then in this one we'll call this contrast saturation okay so um in this one uh, we'll copy and paste that grade and we're going to take this off okay now there's a number of ways that you can transform this footage mathematically to see what the actual color science of the camera is the easiest way to do it is using a color space transform now this is all in DaVinci Resolve, um, obviously, so uh, in my opinion this is the proper way to really see what's going on with your footage and to have the most tools available to you. So uh, alright, so Panasonic V Gamut, Panasonic V Log as the input color space in Gamma, output color space is Rec. 709 and output Gamma is uh, Rec. 709. So with the tone mapping here, uh, I really like this new DaVinci uh, tone mapping. Uh, we can also use none and you can see that um, in the waveform that your highlights are going to spike if you do that. So we're going to just go to DaVinci. Now I'm not going to try to get these to look exactly exactly the same, okay? But I will just attempt to get these somewhat similar. You should be able to see a difference in the yellows of her dress and her skin tones uh, pretty apparently. Look at that. Do you see how different those colors are okay so these colors here are not accurate they are not being displayed properly because they're not in a color space that is usually displayable to where you can really see what's going on skin tones look a lot healthier in the rec 709 conversion and this mustard yellow is probably a heck of a lot more accurate uh, compared to this green looking uh, yellow all right so um, this is a, a pretty fundamental thing here to learn which is to mathematically transform your footage so that you can see the colors uh, from the camera appropriately if you don't do this um, you're not really gonna know uh, how to grade it properly unless you've got a monitor that can display all these colors and you have the uh, uh, skill to transform it correctly into the right color space. Okay, so we're going to look at um, a few more shots. In this shot, it's the same uh, person, this lovely lady here, and we're just going to copy and paste uh, our setups from previously. Look at her face. 
we, we haven't adjusted it, right? We haven't adjusted for Luma. We haven't adjusted saturation or any of that. Look at the difference in her face. See this? Huge, huge difference. And we didn't really do any additional labor. Okay, all we did was try to manually add contrast and saturation versus display the colors. Okay. Huge difference here. Look at her lips. If the, the reds were being tinted orange, we should see that. Okay, let's look at our vector scope. See how red is coming up here into the red box? Look here. See how red, I don't know how apparent this is going to be on uh, YouTube, but her reds are being tinted orange because they're not being displayed properly. Okay, see that? Displayed properly, not displayed properly. Displayed properly, not displayed properly. Okay, let's look at another shot. Now we'll do what I was told to do, which was increase contrast and then saturation. Okay. Now just look at the difference here. Do you see how significant of a difference this is? Okay. This is huge. This is a huge difference and it it really does make all the difference in how you transform your footage to make it look uh, more or less correct. Okay. Uh, we'll do the last one here. Now, this shot, since there's orange and red flowers, if these reds, for some reason, are being tinted orange in some way, we should be able to see it being closer to this color than red. And also, we're going to be really looking at this vector scope to see what's going on. Okay, so let's again, um, I'm doing what they told me to do, contrast, saturation. Now, at first glance, you might think, wow, these reds are really being pushed orange. I mean, look, here they are. Let's uh, grab a sampler. You can see that they're pushed over here. Okay, probably needs to be more around here. Well, let's uh, transform this footage into Rec. 709. Okay, so here is the Rec. 709 transform with some contrast added to try to match the uh, uh, manual transform, uh, which is just the contrast and saturation without a Rec. 709 transform. And let's see what happens. So here we're in uh, Rec. 709, and here's Vlog. Rec. 709, Vlog. This is not a proper transform. This is not a proper way of transforming your footage, just adding contrast and saturation like this. It's not going to work. You have to display the colors right, okay? So, you know, if I'm barking up the wrong tree, please send me proof, okay? Not a YouTube video. Send me, my uh, email is in the About section. Send me an email um, with footage that that displays the problem, okay? It's got to be capture acquired 10-bit Panasonic V-Log stuff, okay? Please send it to me. I'd love to help you troubleshoot through it. So I hope that this is helpful to people, um, and I'll catch you next time.